Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Abby Francis and I am getting my wisdom teeth taken out. I'm going to be vlogging the whole experience so you'll be able to share in maybe the fun, the laughs and the pain with me. It's just not very, it's just not a very nice experience to be honest. These four big wisdom teeth that are impacting all my other teeth and causing them to cross over, making me feel so self-conscious all the time, are coming out. The surgery is costing me out of pocket 600 euros, maybe more if I need to use the happy gas during the surgery. Um, but honestly, it's not too bad, at least compared to Australian prices. I'm trying to get organized before the surgery so that everything's in place and I'm not stressing out last minute. So the first thing that I'm going to do is research the kind of foods that I can eat. I know that I have to eat only cold liquid foods for the first two days. So I need to go to the supermarket, but before that, I'm gonna have a little bit of a research and make a list of all the stuff that I can have and that I need to pick up at the supermarket. I also have to go to the pharmacy and pick up a prescription that my dentist has given me. I think there's like four different um, medications that he's prescribed, so we've gotta get that as well. This is all the stuff that I ended up getting at the supermarket. So some yogurts, a bit of a sweeter one. This is like um, pureed mashed potatoes with asparagus. And normally I like to cook everything myself, but I don't really have time before the surgery to like prepare a bunch of stuff for this. So I just got that, some chocolate ice cream. It's a good excuse to eat ice cream. Um, two things of applesauce and some stuff that I can make some basic smoothies with. So hopefully that should keep me going for two days. Okay guys, it's one day before the surgery now. This evening, I've just kind of washed my hair because when you're sick and your hair is like greasy and yucky, you just feel even more yuck. But as soon as you wash it and make it feel clean, you feel better. So I'm hoping that's gonna help me a bit tomorrow with the pain. Other than that, I'm just trying to catch up on all my uni work that I have to do because I'm not sure. I think tomorrow I'm going to be sleeping a lot after the surgery because of the anesthetic and stuff. So I'm just trying to catch up on as much as I can before I go into the surgery. I am feeling so freaking nervous. I've never had like a dental procedure like this before. I've never had any teeth out. I think I've been to the dentist like twice in my life. The dentist actually doesn't speak English, so I'm gonna have to rely on my boyfriend Killian to kind of translate everything, make sure I understand and whatnot. I'm gonna get on with my schoolwork and make sure everything's ready and I'll probably check in with you tomorrow morning when I'm full of nerves. Good morning guys, I am just eating some breakfast. I have to eat an hour before and I also have three different medications to take before the surgery. Um, as well as that, I'm not allowed to wear makeup or any creams or anything on my face. So we will be El Naturel. happening we're here I'm going in I'm getting my wisdom teeth out I'm so nervous but I think all the medication I took like made me feel like calmed me down a bit so that's good anyway teeth are coming out Hey guys, it is now the next day after my surgery and I'm still feeling in, like I'm in so much pain. I can't talk properly, so I'm probably going to include this in the video just because it's funny. Um, but I've just been putting the ice pack on my face and yeah, just trying to rest as much as possible. Like I really just don't feel well really hungry and I'm craving like 
weird foods like I'm craving this Roblechon sandwich that can't, that I like to get from a shop here in Annecy. So I'm definitely gonna treat myself when I can finally eat again. And yeah, I'm just trying to take it really easy. I'll check in with you guys later. This is going to be my first proper meal in a few days. I'm on day three and I'm just making some scrambled eggs and just gonna get, hopefully get some energy because I've been feeling so tired, I think because I'm not really eating. Good morning guys, it is Saturday. I'm just kind of chilling in the sun, having some iced coffee. I haven't had coffee for four days, so it feels so good to finally have it. I'm a bit of an addict. Other than that, I am feeling more energetic this morning. Um, I've woken up, I've had a shower, washed my hair. I've even put mascara on, um, which feels like I've come a long way since sitting in my pajamas for three days. This morning, I'm just gonna head to the supermarket, grab a few things, come back, keep studying, and I'm gonna make some soup later on. Sunday so five days after my surgery now I'm feeling so much better other than the fact that my face is still quite swollen I'm ready to share my top five tips with you guys on how to have a speedy recovery and just things in general that have really helped me my first tip for you guys is to get all your liquid foods beforehand don't wait until after the surgery to go to the supermarket and grab everything you need because trust me it's going to be the last thing you feel like doing i picked up ice cream yogurts and some stuff to make smoothies and they were my go-to foods throughout my recovery my second tip for you guys is to rest don't talk stay in bed and just rest everyone's recovery is going to happen at a different pace for me it's now day five and i'm just starting to feel normal now so just listen to your body stay in bed binge watch netflix youtube and just rest my third tip is a little bit of a weird one take your fingers like this and put them in your mouth like this uh and do that as much as you can post recovery. My dentist said that it really helps with like the movement of your jaw. I was honestly just sitting sitting around like this, uh, like I was gonna shoot myself. It definitely helped bring the movement back into my mouth after the surgery. My fourth tip involves this little mouthwash, which your dentist will most likely prescribe you anyway. It's really important that you rinse your mouth out with this three times a day for one minute each rinse. This honestly left my mouth feeling so refreshed and like free from any gunk and like nasty bacteria. I just felt like it washed all the nasties away and just left my mouth feeling like really fresh. So I highly recommend doing that three times every single day post recovery. My fifth and final tip for you guys in the recovery process is to make ice packs your new best friend. You wanna grab the ice pack and press it along your face for 30 minutes on and then 30 minutes off. I just grabbed a face cloth, some ice from the freezer, and used a scrunchie to secure it. A bit of a cheapskate trick there, but nevertheless, this ice pack honestly worked wonders. So there you have it. That is my little guide on how to survive the wisdom teeth removal. If you are getting your wisdom teeth out, I want to let you know that everything is going to be okay. It's just a few days of pain, of torture, but soon you will be devouring pizza again. I really enjoyed filming this video. It was a bit weird to include some of the moments where I was just a complete mess. I looked terrible and I was like mumbling on about God knows what. But anyway, if you did, make sure you like this video, subscribe to my channel, and I can't wait to see you guys on Wednesday. Thanks for watching.